Innovation Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity which has been released by Bharat Dynamics Limited. It's a mini Ratna company uh, and that too category one. Over here, you can see um, on the official website of uh, BDLindia.in and uh, go to the recruitments page. Over there, you would see the first two links which are being mentioned over here it is for applying online the issue date was 17th of july to apply online and the notification was released on 15th of july 2025 now the notification is of eight pages it is specifically for students who want to join on a temporary basis now it's on contractual basis it has been mentioned over here the positions it's a trainee position um, various positions first of all uh, but trainee engineer trainee officers as you can see electronics, mechanical, electrical, computer science, and for some non-technical profiles as well, some diploma uh, assistant positions as well. Um, so over here, the trainee engineer positions, right? There are total 112 and uh, trainee officer also, total 112 and trainee diploma positions, including some non-technical, it is total 100, right? It is on temporary basis. So if you are a student who lack some kind of experience or you know your resume is not that good or fine it's a wonderful opportunity for you you should apply right now here you can see trainee engineering positions for electronics total 50 50 positions mechanical 30 positions electrical 10 positions computer science 10 positions and after that trainee diploma assistant electronics 40 positions training uh, diploma assistant mechanical 30 positions electrical 10 positions computer science also 10 positions right and the bifurcation is also mentioned with respect to the uh, with respect to the category as well right reservation post now age relaxation as you can see obviously general category unreserved and ews categories 28 years and uh, uh, for scst category 5 years and obc ncl 3 years right now over here the upper age limit for each and every post they have mentioned it specifically right so you can just take a you know screenshot of this or you know download this take a note of this based upon that calculator upper age limit and apply for the position tenure of employment trainee engineer trainee officer trainee diploma assistant as you can see trainee assistant uh, manager officer positions here maximum tenure of four years including the initial period of one year right so here extension will be for three more years if possible right so they are saying that engagement initially for period of one year which can be extended for three more years right so a maximum tenure of four years can be there and in which it includes the initial period of one year also based upon the organizational requirement and individual performance right now one more term another four years on yearly extendable basis may be extended as per organization requirement and performance of the candidates right here uh, the remuneration is also mentioned per month remuneration remuneration is mentioned for trainee engineer trainee officer positions 29,500 rupees per month on extension it will be 32,500 rupees right uh, uh, until fourth year uh, until third year if there is one more extension for the fourth year it will be 38500 right and diploma assistant positions here 24500 26000 27500 and 29500 uh, 29000 per month right now keeping in mind that there will be a bond also i guess in addition to consolidated remuneration per month indicated above an amount of 10,000 rupees per year will be paid towards expenses like medical insurance premiums, attire allowance, stitching uh, charges, footwear allowances, etc, etc, right? And um, the said amount shall be paid in two installments. First installment, 50% to be processed in the first month salary after joining and second installment, 50% with will be paid on the completion of 11 months, right? And this is for medical uh, expenses and everything apart from that essential qualification as you can see trainee engineer electronics mechanical electrical computer science you need to have your bachelor's degree right and uh, for uh, 
bachelor's degree something is mentioned about the percentage also candidates should have 55% and above aggregate in all the semesters or years so that is essential for scst category and pw uh, bd category physically handicapped it, will, it is 50% and above and over here trainee diploma assistant three years of diploma or equivalent course in relevant discipline recognized by the state or central government shall be there right and uh, instrumentation automation and robotics students are also applicable for electronics positions right and for mechanical relevant disciplines are mechanical automation robotics and production for electrical uh, electrical electronics and electrical industrial electronics instrumentation power maintenance engineering for computer science it and computer science only these two are applicable right this is for trainee diploma assistant now apart from that um, you are supposed to also consider in this particular table over here yeah so they have also separately mentioned that what kind of discipline or branch or disciplines on the degree which are mentioned which can be considered equivalent right so you can just take a note of this because there is a, there are a lot of doubts in terms of what name of the uh, branch has been mentioned on the degree sometimes it can lead towards rejection as well so any domain which is mentioned in the table or any name of the engineering which is mentioned in the table and it is same as that of your certificate so it will be applicable and next is selection process it will be based upon a computer based test and uh, selection will be through a written test for shortlisted candidates based on initial screening of applications and followed by an interview right so written test will have 120 questions and duration will be of 2 hours 100 questions will be of your subject and discipline and 20 questions will be of general aptitude right and weightage 85% marks will be allotted to the written test and 15% to the interview shall be considered right now qualification marks in the written test is 50% obviously selection will not be at 50% it will be well above that 50% if your marks are there you will be shortlisted right you will be said that you have qualified the um, examination but if you will be called for interview it will be in the ratio of 1 is to 7 right 7 times more students shall be considered now apart from that the names of candidates shortlisted uh, for written test interview final selections will be notified by com uh, company's website only test centers as you can see um, they have been mentioned will be in Hyderabad, Telangana and its surroundings and Vishakhapatnam and uh, Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh, right? Mostly it will be there. So specifically students who are from Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, it's a positive news for you, uh, right? So do apply for this. Specifically students at Ace Hyderabad also, you should consider uh, going for this examination as well uh, apart from that application fee it is 300 rupees right it is to be paid either through online uh, or any other uh, internet banking system and you can see for undeserved ews and obc the fee is 300 rupees and for scst pwbd category they are exempted from any payment right so these are the essential things which are required to be taken care of yeah so one more thing you need to also provide necessary documentation also while filling the form just keep in mind the name the spelling name everything it is up to the mark and it is same as that of your degrees and other certificates as well right so thank you for watching this video do like this video share it with your friends if you think this video will be helpful for them uh, subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.